Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use SD Resume Builder to make professional CV for a job. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we use the Zesty, uh, Zeti platform here? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the official website, which is going to be zeti.com. Now, what we need to do is we need to try their resume builder. Let's go ahead and click on the try our resume builder here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on create your resume now. Now, it should redirect you to another page, which in this case, you need to choose a template for the resume that you want to use. So there are going to be different uh, templates that you can choose from. So for example, I'm just going to choose the very first one here, and maybe I want to choose a different color here. So maybe if you want to choose yellow, even brown. So I'm just going to use the default one here, which is going to be blue. Click on choose template. Now from here, you have two options. So you have the option to upload your resume. So if you already have an existing resume that you want to convert into Z here, well, in this case, you could upload that in here. So I think they provide or they accept uh, PDF here as well as Word. Now, if you want to scra uh, start from scratch, just go and click on no start from scratch and click on next. Now it's going to apply that template into our Zeti account and we just need to basically provide some details. That includes our first name, our last name. Let's go ahead and provide our details here. And you also need to provide the profession. So currently, for example, I'm going to be a developer here. You have your CD and suburb. So for example, I'm just going to say uh, this one and the territory, you could go ahead and choose it in here. So for example, this one, so in this case, we are in Manly uh, CD here and the state uh, territory here is, will be QLD and the postcode will be the following. Now in this case, it is uh, the city here or your location will be determined on where you're currently uh, or where con on, on what country you're currently accessing the city website. So in this case, it's going to suggest uh, locations within Australia since again, in, uh, I'm in Australia. Now we need to provide our phone number as well as our email address. So in this case, if you see the asterisk button here, it means it is a required field. So for example, I'm just going to enter my email here and let's just proceed on the work history next. Now in this case, you have two reasons here for uh, creating a resume. So yeah, if you're job seeking or a different reason, let's go and choose job seeking, click on next. And from here, let's go ahead and click on next for us to provide our uh, history, most recent job. So for example, I was a software developer here and the employer is going to be IT company. Now the location, you can go and provide the location itself. So for example, the location is going to be on the following uh, location here. And from here we have our start date as well as the end date. So for example, the start date is going to be January and the year of 2021. Now the end date here may vary. So for example, if you currently work here, you could go and choose the I currently work here option. But again, if you've already signed, you could choose a day here and choose the year for it. So for example, uh, you're signed around on 2023 and just click on next. Now, next you want to do here is you want to uh, go ahead and describe what you did on that specific job. So by the way, if you if something pops up here, you can go ahead and click on no thanks or add recommendations if you want to. So recommendations here is a good way for you to uh, add value into your resume if you want to. But for now, we, let's just do it manually here. So in this case, there are going to be some results that you could add here. So for example, I am improved software efficiency, expert recommendation. But you could also type your own by pressing enter here and just typing whatever you want. So in this case, you can even add high underlines or make it italic, add um, bullet this if you want to. And yeah, so in this case, let's go and click on next here. And now, if you want to add other job experiences, you could go and click on add another position and just follow the steps like what we did before. But for now, let's go and proceed to education. And from here, let's go and click on no thanks. Now from here, let's go and click on next because we now need to provide our education. So for example, if we complete a bachelor's here, let's go and choose bachelor's. And from here, you could add the university name. So for example, this is going to be the university name here. So just to give you an idea, maybe I'm going to use the Boulevard High School here and the school or university location, the degree for it, you can go and choose one, field of study, uh, you could go ahead and provide that as well as the graduation date or expected graduation date. So provide all those details and just click on next. Now from here, if you want to add other education, education that you receive, like certificates, you can go and click on add another education and just like what we did before, provide those details. Let's go and click on next skills. Now from here, let's go and click on next. 
and from here we can just go ahead and provide the skills that we have right now so in this case we found four top skills for software developer so let's go ahead and click on either add skills or no tanks but if you want to add them all yourself you can go and click on the plus button here as you can see right now now you can even rate them if you want to for example for software development i'm maybe a three star in it problem solving is going to be four programming is going to be four as well so in this case, once you provide all the skills here, by the way, if you want to delete them, you could go and click on the trash can icon here. But for now, let's go and click on next. Now, summary is a group for you to basically show off and summarize what your what the contents of your um, resume here. So let's go and click on next and click on continue. Now, you could go ahead and just start write, uh, writing whatever you want here. And you could even utilize AI to basically create your uh, summary for you so the data that you've entered before would actually take that account and create a custom um summary in here so by the way if you want to add different sections as well you could go and choose the pre-made options here if you want to so yeah so in this case again if you want to customize them just type away here and just click on the add extra sections here now, if you want to add other sections into your resume, you could do this via this section here. So for example, if you have any websites or other portfolios, certifications, or any languages, you could go ahead and do that. But you could also add your own if you want to fully customize it. But for now, we're going to the basic ones. Let's go and click on next. And it's going to say, looking good, this resume template is optimized by Smart Apply. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on next here. And from here, it's going to say, great work. Click on got it. And as you can see, we now have our resume. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and change a few things here, like the templates, if you want to, the formatting tools, like the line spacing, section spacing here, and the, uh, the text itself. We also have the add sections option if you want to add different sections, spell check here if you want to spell check anything in here. And also, if you want to download your resume, you can either choose download here. If you want to print it, you can go and click on print it. And you also have the option to email this to yourself. But for you to actually fully utilize this one, it is recommended that you actually uh, create your account first by either signing in with your Google or your Facebook account or manually creating your account here. So yeah, so in this case, uh, that's how you start using um, Zeti here. So just like a video, I'm going to sign in using my Google account so that we'll be able to fully manage our account. Let's go ahead and click on continue. And yeah, so in this case, this is our account now. So yeah, so those are the basics that you need to know for the Zeti Resume Builder here, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.